Hi guys, Joe Burnich here with BigWestMarketing.com. And if you usually watch my videos, then uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. Usually I'm talking about uh, marketing tactics, techniques, online stuff with Google, um, website development type stuff for service businesses. But I wanted to switch gears a little bit because I'm doing a... Uh, I'm actually having a, a video contest with my local mastermind here in Missoula, Montana. And it's it's fun. We're doing 100 videos in 100 days. Um, everybody that's involved, which is 17 different uh, business owners, uh, everybody put in a $100 bill. And then whoever has the best videos at the end is going to win, you know, $1,700. So it's kind of fun. We got money involved. And then, you know, doing videos for your business obviously can be very beneficial in a number of ways. Um, so that being said, I needed just more content for my videos. And, um, and I'm actually going through the process of uh, setting up a separate business partnership uh, with somebody here locally right now. And so I'm going through the whole, you know, setting up uh, a corporation or an LLC. I'm sorry, not a corporation, but an, an LLC. Uh, it's a partnership. It's an official partnership. I've never done this before exactly like this. So you get into all that legal stuff. We got an attorney that's writing out all kinds of articles of organization and operating agreements, like all this stuff, all this stuff that uh, I have never done because I've never had an official partnership before. Uh, that's registered with the state and all that good stuff. But it got me thinking because, um, and, I'm, and in the next video, I am going to get into, you know, whether you should do an LLC or an S Corp, that kind of stuff, and how much money it can save you if you do uh, one over the other. But in this video, what it got me kind of thinking about was the... Um, the way that people talk about how much money they make with their business. And because I'm reading a book right now, let me show you. So I'm reading this book right now. It's called The Tax and Legal Playbook by, uh, by Mark Kohler. And it's really good because this is some really dry information, but he puts it into an easy to read, kind of fun, as fun as you can be when it comes to uh, tax and legal stuff. Uh, so I'm reading this book, and, and what I realize is, you know, you have to really examine what, what's going on with your business. And if you're a business owner and you're watching this, which you probably are, then, you know, if somebody, if, if, if the question comes up, whether it's a banker asking you this or an attorney or something like that, it says, how much do you make with your business? You know, what kind of money do you make each year? Okay, kind of a scary question because what I've found is talking to a lot of business owners, whenever this comes up, and I don't come out and ask people that, but sometimes the question, sometimes that information comes up. Sometimes people like to brag about it. I've seen people on forums, business forums, brag about this stuff all the time. What I realize is rarely do small business owners talk about their profits. They talk about their gross. Okay, and there's a, I think that's a huge problem because when you start telling people or even yourself that you make a certain amount of money, you need to be very specific. Is that gross or is that net? Is that the total amount of money you're bringing in? Or is that the amount of money you're actually making, earning after taxes? Okay, after expenses, I'm sorry. And the reason that's so important is because you can go out there and make a million dollars a year, but if you're spending 900 and if you're spending 900000 of that on expenses, employees, equipment, insurance, like all the stuff that goes into running a business, then you're not making a million dollars. You're making 100000 okay? And, uh, you know, I've, I, I met this guy one time who's running a business, service business. I'm not going to mention any names or give any clues. But I met a guy one time who's living in a studio apartment, and uh, he's got uh, three trucks going. He's got three or four employees, maybe more now. Uh, and he's been in business for like seven years. And I'll tell you what, this individual still lives in that same, you know, run down uh, studio apartment that maybe is like $400 a month. Uh, he spends a ton of money on advertising, spends a ton of money on employees, works 10 to 12 hours a day in the busy season at least, and he still struggles to make money. But if you ask this guy how much money he'll, he makes, he'll say, you know, like two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000 a year, okay? 
I know for a fact that he doesn't make that much money. He doesn't earn that much money. That's not his profit because um, he spends tons of money on overhead. Okay, so the reason this is so important is because if you can be honest with yourself and with other people about how much money you're really making, even even though that number can be very scary and way lower than you want it to be, if you can if you can kind of acknowledge reality and then re you know reset your goals, change your decision making based on that number rather than the big number, then I think you're going to get a lot farther in business and you're going to actually start making the money that you deserve. Okay, you shouldn't be working. 10 to 12 hours a day and making, you know, 30 grand a year. You just should not. Uh, if, you're, if you're gonna do that, you might as well just go work for somebody else and then you don't have all the headaches of running a business, okay? So um, I just wanna kind of bring that, cause, cause I just, I, I see it all the time where people never talk about their net. They always talk about their gross. And I'm, I'm afraid that people are telling themselves that same story about how much money they're making. And I think it's gonna hurt people rather than help people uh, in the long run, as far as growing their business, making better decisions. And so, uh, and so on that point, like in the next video, what I want to talk about is should you choose, should you set your business up as a sole proprietorship? Um, should you have an LLC? And what are the benefits of that? And the, or should you have an S Corp? Like I switched from, uh, I started out with a, a sole proprietorship, then I went to LLC, and then I went to S Corp. And I'm going to explain the reasons that my CPA taught me. And maybe this will help you guys out a little bit as well. So once again, Joe Burnich, Big West Marketing. I will see you in the next video.